Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. Similar to the video I completed a few days ago on the situation at Norwegian, I wanted to do something similar with Emirates, who have recently made headlines around the globe in regards to their A380 order, 78710 order, A350 interest, 777X order, and even A330 NEO interest. We begin back in January of 2018, when Emirates gave the A380 a lifeline with a new order for 36 of the aircraft, which was worth up to US $16 billion at list prices. The order ensured that 3,000 jobs on the A380's production line would remain in place for at least another decade. At the time, Emirates placed an MOU for 20 firm orders and 16 options. It meant that Emirates' total commitment to the Airbus A380 was at 178 units. The chairman and chief executive of Emirates Airline and Group commented on the order at the time, saying, We've made no secret of the fact that the A380 has been a success for Emirates. Our customers love it, and we've been able to deploy it on different missions across our network, giving us flexibility in terms of range and passenger mix. Adding, some of the new A380s we've just ordered will be used as fleet replacements. This order will provide stability to the A380 production line. We will continue to work closely with Airbus to further enhance the aircraft and onboard product, so as to offer our passengers the best possible experience. The beauty of this aircraft is that the technology and real estate on board gives us plenty of room to do something different with the interiors. However, immediately after this MOU order was placed, doubts were cast on whether Emirates would welcome it on. That's the part we're going to go into now. In October of 2018, according to Bloomberg, discussions between Emirates and the A380's engine supplier, Rolls-Royce, had reached an impasse as the pair couldn't agree on a fit price and also fuel burn standards for the said engines. This impasse meant that Emirates missed the engine selection deadline and risked the delivery of these new aircraft to be pushed back even later. Bloomberg also reported at the time, according to inside sources, that Rolls-Royce were falling short of all performance parameters and were therefore not meeting Emirates' requests. At the time, Engine Alliance, a joint venture between Pratt & Whitney and GE, did come forward to offer their assistance. However, it wasn't taken. A month later, Sir Tim Clark announced that Emirates were very close to securing a deal with Rolls-Royce for these new Airbus A380s that they purchased in January of the same year. In fact, in an exclusive interview with Airliner Ratings, he actually said, The deal is about to be closed. It will be Rolls-Royce. Fast forward to February of 2019, the Emirates deal is now at risk of being cancelled altogether as Emirates rejigs its order books and weighs up its options for future growth. The initial report by Reuters was all but confirmed by Airbus who did release a statement noting that while discussions were to remain confidential, they were indeed in discussions with Emirates over that said situation. However, with problems surrounding Dubai International and Emirates' growth plans, taking on board a further 36 A380s could simply not work for the carrier at this point. This is why welcoming on a smaller aircraft with two engines, like maybe the A350, 777X or A330neo, may just be the best option. However, it doesn't stop there. It appears that the entire Emirates order book could be getting a reshuffle, with new reports indicating that their order for the Boeing 787-10 could now be at risk of cancellation. This order was placed in 2017 and was for 40 787 Dreamliners. The potential resolution to this for the Dubai-based carrier is a new order for the 777X, as I did discuss in Monday's video. However, the Air Current and more have now reported that an order for the A330neo is also an option. Ultimately, this current situation at Emirates is no doubt interesting, but also concerning, as we await news on their A380 order, which could make or break the program and, more importantly, the production line, which houses thousands of jobs. If Emirates pulls the plug on its order, it will likely spell the end of the world's largest passenger plane, and surely also the end of the quad-engine jets, with the 7478 failing to pull in any orders for the passenger variant. It is still going along slowly but surely in the freighter sector. Feel free to leave your thoughts on the situation at Emirates in the comment section below, as well if you have anything else that 
as well, if you have anything else you want to discuss, please do so as well in the comments. That's what they're there for. I like to have it as a big discussion where everyone can engage in different conversations. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. The night, race all of these broken dreams and flight. And we'll fly.